I have tried to use video before in the classroom because I've, I've seen how it works well. Um, however, when I got the video and, you know, the, just the simple things like turning it on and off were very daunting and I thought, well, this is a great um, use of IT, but I don't know how to use it. Becky Acton Slaney teaches at the Samworth Enterprise Academy in Leicester. She was a teaching assistant for over 10 years and has been teaching her own geography and history lessons for the past six months. Becky is nervous about her own ability using video in the classroom, but wants to conquer her fear. So we've challenged her to find out as much as she can about using video and to use her newfound knowledge to teach a lesson with her students. Following her progress through the challenge, you'll find out, among other things, how videos can be used to enhance traditional lessons, the sorts of privacy issues you need to be aware of and how to tackle them, and the benefits of reflecting back on projects recorded in video form. If you want to give it a go yourself, there's a range of useful support materials on the page for this programme on the Teachers TV website including short how-to videos and case studies from other key stages and subjects. To start with, Becky visits the Cooper's Company in Coburn School in Upminster, where video is used extensively to improve student performance. I'm very nervous, I'm excited and full of anticipation. Um, it's nice to be in a different school to see how they deliver their lessons. Paul Cornish, Head of Geography, takes Becky straight to his Year 8 class, where he's set up a variety of activities using video. In front of you is a climate graph for Newquay. Now, I like my surfing, OK? I go down to Newquay and Cornwall quite often. And if you look closely, you'll see there's a climate graph just with a little bit of a difference. Basically, what you'll, you'll be looking at is on the camera, there's going to be five different clips of me talking. Paul's recorded his clips onto small, easy-to-use video cameras. I've put those clips on every one of the cameras. What you'll need to do is try and work out where within the year, on the climate graph, each one of these clips fits. The sea is at its cleanest because there's been very little rain. It's the best waves of the year, but I can only last an hour in the water before I get too cold. Because that's it, like I say, the bigger waves, what else did you mention in the clip? Um, he went to winter, thick winter. A winter, so you've got winter, you've got wave height, so it's more than likely to be that time of year, isn't it? So if you sort of use every little piece of information. Paul's already produced a version of the graph with the videos embedded in the correct place. Let's have a look at our second one. OK, down here, let's play this one. The sea is at its cleanest because there's been very little rain. OK, so it hasn't rained very much, so why do we think it goes in sort of March time near? After the lesson starter, Paul gets going with the main activity, where he challenges his students to make their own video climate graphs. OK, you're going to write which character is going to, to say a statement, and then you're going to write your script for that statement. Paul has created a fictional family, which the students have to bring to life on camera. The Johnson family's life and hobbies are regularly affected by the climate of Alaska. Here we go, here's the Johnson family. They've just been um, whitewater rafting because Canada's an excellent place for whitewater rafting. So Kevin and Melinda work together selling air conditioning units. Hmm, so there's a little clue there. You might want to incorporate that into your script. Nate and Joe, they're the two children, go to school 20 kilometres away from their home. So that's quite a long distance especially if it snowed very hard the night before. You're going to come up with up to 12 statements relating to different months during the year. The students plan the video scripts for their climate graph and then head off to film their clips. If you're watching this on the Teachers TV website and would like to know the basics of recording video and transferring it to your computer, take a look at the short how-to video below. So where are we going to go first? Um, we're going to go over to there because we're going to use the trees for the bears. So we're, when we're talking about the hunting, we're probably going to get some bears. So they can show where they the live, trees. where the habitat yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. 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 Get that'd be great. So we're going to go. Three, two, <laughs> one, go. We ran out hunting today and there was loads of bears. The temperature is high. Brilliant, that's great. <laughs> that was so funny actually, that stopped myself from laughing. 
So how easy was that to use? It, it's pretty easy actually. All you have to do is press the middle button uh -huh. to play, uh -huh. and then the, other, the, the same again to stop the. So it's the exact same button yeah, to actually stop, to stop the recording. So that's and then it that's saves automatically on it. You don't have to do anything else. Oh, that's wonderful. Right. Just after you've done the recording, how do you make sure that you've actually got the clip? That you, know? uh, you press the play and pause button uh -huh. there, and then it should come up with them. The first one. Uh -huh. And then you can go through with these. Oh, so you use buttons. the forward or the back yeah. button to go through the different clips that you've got. And recorded. then to play it, I think you press that one. Oh, that's yeah. really yeah. self explanatory, then, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's the best time to go swimming because it's hot and you get cooled down as well. The group it's records hot, the rest of its clips and then heads back to the classroom. We're going to review a little bit. I'm going to choose some clips from different groups. You're going to try and link those clips, okay, with a month or a period of time. On the graph, it's, it's like Temi by the lake. The best time to go swimming because it's hot and you get cooled down as well. Oh. <laughs> so, so it's the best time to go swimming because you get cooled down. Okay, which month of the year might this be? After watching various videos and allocating them to the correct month on the climate graph, Paul's class finishes off the project by interviewing each other about the work they've done and how climate graphs relate to their own lives. When you go on holiday, when you go skiing, you can only go where the temperature is cold, otherwise there will be no snow. Paul does a variety of video projects with all year groups and the completed films are uploaded to the department's website so that students can show their friends and family at home. But with websites where videos are accessible for all, Becky is concerned about the students' privacy. Basically, any videos which are ending up being published on our department website, those will have to have permission of parents. Another thing to be aware of is to, to make sure that no pupils' full names appear either in the credits or during videos as well. And the final thing is, if you are using a video upload program such as Vimeo or YouTube, that you really check the privacy settings carefully on there to make sure that if it's just yourself who's storing the videos online, that no one else is able to view them. Paul's school is lending Becky some of its video cameras to get started. It's now her challenge to take back what she's picked up from Paul and integrate it into one of her own lessons. The children here and the staff have all been very friendly and very nice. Um, it's been great because they've showed me how easy it is to use video footage within the classroom. And then when Paul has actually shown me how easy it is to transfer it onto a computer, um, I must admit, I feel a lot more confident about taking that information back and being able to use it within the classroom. It's been a week since Becky met Paul, so let's see how she's getting on. At the weekend, I came in, I took my laptop home, I planned the lesson, I had a go of the camera myself. Initial problems are just practice, really. It's like anything. One time I use it and it'll be completely fine, and the next time I will have forgotten something. But it's like learning to drive. You don't get it right first time. But none of the barriers um, will prevent me from going forward. Becky has set up a simple lesson using video to get her students started with the technology. After showing a presentation she's created herself about how to use the flip cameras, Becky gets going with the main lesson activity. In today's lesson, we are talking about summer safety. The children have a task where they have got to prepare three questions to ask the local sports teacher at the academy on some protection for children in the holidays. I also have put in a time limit for them to use the camera because I remember last week Paul said uh, when children have ICT technology in the classroom, they tend to sort of go off on a little world of their own and don't come back in. If you're watching this on the Teachers TV website, you can download Becky's lesson plan and PowerPoint presentation below. You'll be using the camera to video role play. You'll be either a cameraman, news reporter or teacher. OK, if you are the news reporter, you'll be interviewing our local PE teacher, Mrs Lunn at the Samworth Enterprise Academy. Your aim is to highlight safety for children when they are exposed to the sun and the reasons why last week Mrs Lunn had to bring Sports Day inside for Phase 1 children when the temperatures got very high. So will the students find the technology easy to use? So like you could go over there and then these cut you two, yeah? No, I'm going to be here like this. Yeah? yeah. Like Kyle. You've got the camera in yeah. Right, yeah. Kyle, Jordan, what I want you to do, just imagine I'm here telling the questions, I want you 
to not go too far back and carry on like running in with like playing tick or something, but stay in front of the camera. I'm standing out the Samworth Enterprise Academy speaking to Miss Lud. Why do we need to stay hydrated? You need to drink water yeah. so you don't get dehydrated. What are the dangers of not drinking enough water in hot weather? The dangers of not drinking enough water in hot weather are dehydration and possibly sunstroke. The end. <laughs> well done, girls. I was very impressed to come up to see that you'd even managed to get a football boy so you could have a kick around in the background. Yep, that's good. Great questions, very clear voices. Well done. That's have you kept your time scale? Yeah. Let me see it, let me it. We've got to get back quick, go, go, The students head back to the classroom to see if their filming has been a success. Thanks to her session with Paul, Becky is now able to transfer the videos immediately from the camera to the computer and play them out. A, a local PE teacher was gone. So, that's asking questions about some safety. OK, thank you for your time and thank you for your answers. Well done. So that's the boys' video, OK? So it just shows you how quickly we can transfer what you do in the classroom and around the school and get it onto the screen within the hour, within the lesson. It also means that we can collate the information that you collect, save it onto memory sticks and use it for future lessons. We've never used the cameras before and we thought it was a good thing to do because we never do like filming in lessons. Because when we do role play, we usually just show it to the class and don't film it. But this time we can film it and show it on the board. I felt more relaxed and it made me boost up my confidence. I was really pleased with the lesson. Uh, I'd go as far as saying it was uh, more of a success than I originally believed it would be. I was quite fearful of, of the use of video in the classroom because obviously it becomes unstructured and you wonder how the children will take on that unstructured role. But the children took everything on board and it was generally just a great success. The educational benefit is that you can actually reach children at all levels of ability. Some children are obviously less likely to write on paper but will perform for you and it's not just for the higher level students but it will encapsulate students at all levels. My next step from this lesson is to help build the children's confidence over weeks. We will go forward and we will um, transfer the data from the videos onto the computers. And Becky's keen to share her success with colleagues to get them all on board using video technology. We in a classroom spend most of our time helping children overcome their barriers and the use of video was one of my fears. And I think you've got to grasp it with both hands and give it a try because when I went to Paul's school last week I was very nervous, very scared. However, they taught me something that at the end of the day was a lot easier than I'd initially believed. And I've come back and I've used it in my school and now I've, you know, I'm just going to take it forward and go on from there. If you're watching this on the Teachers TV website and are interested to see how teachers of different subjects and key stages use video in the classroom, then have a look at our short films below.